talking about 10 money mistakes that I made when I was in my 20s. Um, I thought, you know, being human is kind of an interesting thing because we make a lot of mistakes as we grow and it's it's a good thing that we make mistakes because we can learn from those mistakes. So I'm hoping that if I share some mistakes that I made, maybe somebody can learn from them. So I'm going to start back from, I think, the smallest to the biggest. Um, my number 10 money mistake that I made when I was in my 20s was getting a pet, and that pet was actually a pet ferret. I had wanted a ferret since I was a little kid. I thought they were really cute, and I got a ferret who I loved, and he was super cute, but he was really expensive. His, I had planned for his food and bedding costs and basic care, but he developed some health problems. He got diabetes, he developed adrenal d disease, and he was a lot more expensive than I had anticipated. I ended up spending thousands of dollars in medical bills that I had not planned on, and I just wasn't financially prepared to care for him like I should have been. And that's something that really any pet you should prepare for. Any pet that lives 10 years or longer at some point is probably going to get sick. They're going to have to go to the vet, and it's more than just their annual you know, vet checks. You're going to have to plan those expenses. Cats, dogs, they all have potential things that can go wrong that cost thousands of dollars. So before you get a pet, make sure you understand the financial implications of what you're doing. And you can get pet insurance, but that's another additional expense. So it's something that you need to really figure out if it's worth doing. Um, number, my number nine money mistake that I made when I was in my 20s was just buying clothes that I didn't need. I liked to go out shopping. Me and my friends, we would go out and have a good time and buy things. I liked to bargain shop. I would always be out hunting for a good deal and I would buy maybe a top but then I wouldn't buy any pants or skirts that went with the top so it would just hang in my closet and I ended up with a lot of clothes I really couldn't use. They weren't practical. I, I really like sundresses but I live somewhere that's very cold so you can only wear them a few months out of the year. I'd buy dresses all the time and then not wear them. So I ended up spending a lot of unnecessary money on things that weren't useful and then I ended up losing some weight, and then I couldn't even fit into these things that were just hanging in my closet. I had to give them to people or donate them. So I lost a lot of money just on clothing because I wanted to go out shopping when I was 20. And I wish I hadn't done that, but it was a lesson. And I hope that's something that you can think about. If you're going to buy clothes, you need them, but make sure you're buying things that are practical, that fit your lifestyle, because you don't want to waste money on something unnecessary. Um, my number eight mistake was just hanging out with the wrong people. I loved my friends, but I had some friends when I was younger that were kind of irresponsible financially, and hanging out with them, I would just spend more money. We'd go out more, we would do things, we would go shopping, and I would just spend the way they were spending. If they wanted to go somewhere, we just went, and I didn't really give too much thought to it. And that, you know, put me behind financially where I should have really been, because I was spending unnecessary money the people that you hang out with, they're, they're going to influence you one way or another. So it's important to have people in your life that are going to put you in a good position financially. You want to be around people that lift you up and support you and are kind of on the same financial plane that you're in. You want to have the same kind of goals. Hang around those people that help you. And you, may, you know, don't feel like you can't talk to people about money. It's, it's, some, it's kind of, you know, socially taboo, but it's good to have conversations about money and finances with your friends. Uh, just something to think about. Uh, my number seven mistake that I made was not negotiating my medical bills. When I was somewhere in my early 20s, mid-20s, I broke my foot and I had to go to the hospital. And after a quick conversation, I was had a question about my bill. I discovered through the conversation that they were willing to lower my bill if I would pay a chunk of that bill up front. So I actually think they took about $300 off of the bill just because I paid money up front. I didn't realize before then that that's something people would do. I didn't really even think about it. Most hospitals will set up payment plans for you if you can't pay something up front. They'll also sometimes lower bills. It's worth just calling up places and seeing. Maybe they'll lower your bill a little bit. If you say, hey, I can't afford this, they might cut off a percentage from your bill. 
So it's just something to think about. I've been pretty fortunate that I've, for the most part, been pretty healthy, but a lot of people have health problems. Just take the time to make a phone call to find out if maybe your medication has a cheaper alternative available. Find out if there is any kind of payment plan available for you for whatever medical bills you have. You might be surprised and save some money. My number six money mistake was buying the wrong car. Um, when I was in my 20s, I was looking for a car and I found this little black Sebring convertible and I had always wanted a convertible since I was a little kid and I thought, oh, this is my dream car, it's in my budget. I was surprised it was in my budget because it was a pretty low budget and I just went out and bought it and that ended up being a huge mistake because that car was really unreliable. It broke down about once a month. I spent thousands of dollars in repair bills on that car. It stranded me places, it was stressful, and it cost me so much unanticipated money because I thought it was gonna be a reliable, just slightly used car, and it was not. I also bought an, a warranty from the dealership that I thought was a legitimate warranty, and that was also not a legitimate warranty, and it covered nothing. So that was $1,000 I spent on nothing because I didn't take the time to research the dealership that I went to, and I didn't research the car like I should have. Looking back, I wish I would have taken the time to research what I was buying. Cars are a huge thing that you have to spend money on. You need to take time to research them before you spend that much money on something. Um, my number five money mistake was just being wasteful. I would just use things and throw them away. I wouldn't reuse them. As I've gotten older, I've learned how to repurpose things, find new uses for things, and it's a huge, change in how much money I spend because I'm not just buying things all the time that I don't need. It's just a different way of looking at life to find things that are I've thought about and can reuse constantly. And just not, just not being wasteful was a lesson that took me a while to figure out. And it's made a big difference in how I see money and how I interact with it. My number four mistake was not tracking my spending. This is something I, I started doing somewhere in my 20s, but my early 20s, I didn't write things down. I didn't know what I was spending money on. I didn't keep track of anything. And it caused me to spend way more than I should have on all sorts of things. It's really important that you have a budget, that you know how you're spending your money, where it's going every week. You, would just, you will be surprised if you haven't written down your finances. Every week, just write down what you're spending because it's important to know where your money's going exactly. And that's something I wish I had done at a younger age, and I think I could have changed my spending habits earlier if I would have done that. My number three money mistake was not investing. When I was in my early 20s, I had a job that offered a 401k, and I did not take it because I didn't understand it, and I felt like it was just extra money that was going to be taken away from me. And looking back, I wish I would have taken that particular 401k, because it would have been a great investment in my future. I do have one now with my current company, but it's something that I wish I would have started younger. I also also wish I would have looked into independent investing opportunities at a younger age instead of waiting, because that makes a huge difference on how the interest grows your accounts when you start younger. So it's not something you want to put off. I know retirement may seem really far away, but it, it gets there. You get there faster than you think you're going to. So just take the time to, we have the internet, look things up on the internet, do some research because there's a lot of information that you should know if you haven't learned it yet. So that was one of my mistakes from my 20s. My number two money mistake was getting married. Although technically I was 19 when I got married, so I was technically not my 20s, I was 19, but my marriage was pretty much in my 20s. Um, I married someone that had a completely different financial idea than what I had. That was someone who really was a spender. I'm more of a saver. And that person got me into a lot of debt. And it took me a long time to get unburied from the debt that I acquired because of that marriage. And that relationship really set me back more than anything financially because I had to unbury myself. And that took years to get out of that debt that had happened. Um, I wish I had taken the time to really sit down with my partner and figure out how he viewed money because we had very different ideas about it. And I think if you're gonna commit to someone for your whole life, you need to understand how they see finances, how they see money, 
It's not something you want to take in lightly. It's one of money is one of the biggest causes of divorce in the country, so it's really important that you have that conversation. If you're committing to someone or if you're already committed, just take a night to sit down and talk about money. So at least you have communication going on about what's happening. Um, and that's just something looking back, I would love to be able to change it, but you know, it was still a lesson that I learned, so something came out of it. And my number one, my biggest money mistake when I was in my 20s was taking out student loans. Um, I have a bachelor's degree, I got a four-year college degree, and it cost me more than $40,000, and I do not use that degree. It was something that was a great four years, I had a wonderful time at college, but the experience I got there, it wasn't worth $40,000. I could have gotten a job somewhere that paid you know, similar to what I make without the degree. There is so many, there are so many job opportunities now for people. You can get an apprenticeship, you can get, you know, all sorts of independent training, you can do a two-year degree. If you're going to take the time to go to college, it's really important that you have the money to cover what you're going for. You can take a little longer and pay as you go. Pay, take, you know, a semester every you know, every one semester a year if you have to and just pay what you're going to pay. Pay just for that semester as you go and just take a longer if you really want that degree. But you do not need to take that on to have a job. There are plenty of career opportunities that do not require a degree. It's great for if you want a very specific field. But if you're going into that field, make sure you can afford to go before you take out the debt because that debt is going to bury you. It's going to make it impossible to have a normal life without feeling without that feeling of being trapped in that debt. So I, if that was one thing if I could change, that's the thing I would change is I wouldn't have gone to college, but I've learned from it and hopefully it maybe someday it'll come in handy, but I have it. But those are my 10 lessons from my 20s. I hope that there was some help, helpful information for you here. And if you could do me a favor, if you're not subscribed, maybe you could subscribe or give the video a like if you've made it down to the end. Um, thanks for coming by and I hope you have a beautiful day today. Thank you.